18 LMP2 and LMP3 cars would join the track for their qualifying session, including some new additions from Europe. Matt Bell in the number two, United Autosports Ligier would start slow and finish very fast indeed in the number two Ligier from the British team flagged in America. It'd be trouble early on from the Eurasia car in the hands of Aidan Reid. Early form was shown again by Nigel Moore in the Viponisa Racing uh, Ligier from Malaysia. He looked like he might set pole position in the class in the Malaysian flagged team. That was until the surprise package of the session, Kubisch Moski in the Polish flagged into Europol team. Another new addition from Europe took their number 13 Ligier round to take pole position in a hotly contested LMP3 class that saw the top five in a single second. In LMP2, Harrison Newey uh, brought the, uh, the Algarve Pro Ligier around and put himself into contention for a front row start. Phil Hansen led the session early on for United Autosports in their 22 Ligier. Uh, he would reclaim third position later in the session. Despite the best efforts though of Hansen or Newey, better still was Pipo Durrani, the diminutive Brazilian again putting a car on pole position in the Asia Le Mans series. This time the number eight Spirit of Race Ligier putting in a blistering lap to claim pole position and to be greeted enthusiastically by the Swiss flag team ahead of tomorrow's agile four hours of Shanghai. Yeah.